<laughs> you would never do this. Those for me. Here, grab that. Excellent. Okay, and here's just hold on to that. So why would you do this? Oh man, I'm driving right now. The kids will tell me if I'm headed into something. Right guys? Let me know if there's any oncoming traffic. Hey there, welcome back to The Lab. I'm Daddy Clay. And I'm Daddy Brad. This episode of The Lab is brought to you by Baby Bjorn. Baby Bjorn, the best baby gear in the world. You know, modern moms and dads are spending more and more time with their kids right in there. And the question is, how do we keep our kids safe with the modern requirements of staying in touch? The latest research shows that someone who's texting while driving is 18 to 23 times more likely to be the cause of an accident, which is nuts. It's just off the charts. Now this may be because the average person when sending or receiving a text or an email looks down at their device and away from the road for about five seconds. At highway speeds, that's the length of a football field and it ought to be illegal. And it is in a lot of states, but it's kind of a crazy quilt of laws. Here in Texas, for example, it is illegal to text and drive, but only if you're a novice driver or a bus driver, which doesn't really make me feel all that good. The news is not good for just talking on your cell phone either because you're three times more likely to cause an accident. That puts you in the same category as someone who's legally drunk. Now this VW Rutan is equipped with all the latest safety features, airbags and analog brakes, but you nullify all of those if you're talking on your cell phone. Put on the hands-free device, doesn't help you much. Studies show you're still at risk. Distracted is distracted. Okay, Daddy Brad, the, the research is clear, but let's get real. Who is gonna be able to not text or answer their phone when the kids are in the car. Is it even possible? Yes, it's possible. We have to do it. I know you may spend two, three hours in the car, but our kids' safety is at stake. You've got to turn it off, put it down, no texting, no talking. Think when about that thing it. goes off in your pocket, you're getting that shot of adrenaline. Yeah. I feel so important. I feel needed. You're going to answer that phone. I know. You know what? I know you are. You what do you do? Have to turn it off. I have to turn it off. When I get in the car, turn it off. Every time you, you turn it off. I've actually Every heard of time. some guys that will have to put it in the trunk of the car in order to refrain from answering. You gotta do it, whatever you have to do. You gotta go cold turkey, turn it off, put it in the glove compartment. There should be a national law. Uh -huh. So maybe we should start lobbying for that. We need to write our congressmen and senators and tell them, hey, we need a national law that bans texting and driving for the sake of our children. It's our kids' safety at stake. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Baby Bjorn, the best baby gear in the world, Baby Bjorn. If you have any ideas about how to get off your crack barrier when you're driving, drop us a line at dadlabs.com and let us know. Yeah, join the conversation there. We're going to be talking about cell phones, driving safety, that kind of thing. And we'll have some tips about how to contact your uh, local politicians to try and get laws passed there at dadlabs.com. You know, we like all things European, whether it's Baby Bjorn or this cool VW. We're really into it. We'll see you next time on The Lab. It's really roomy in here, dude. Look at yeah. it. It's out of an office. Yeah. <laughs> nicer, you know than our, nicer than our office. Uh,